Okay, by now, we have seen or maybe even stood in these very long, snaking lineups outside of COVID testing and assessment centers with people anxious to get tested. But a more comfortable option now available, a saliva test. Instead of the more intrusive nasal swab, it is now available at three Toronto hospitals, uh, University Health, Women's College, and Sinai Health. Dr. Tony Mazzulli is that hospital's microbiologist in chief and joins us live right now. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. So let's talk a little bit about the saliva test and what it entails and how effective it is. I think that's a, a question that a lot of people have. So the, I think people have to understand that what we're offering is the ability to test a saliva sample, meaning that patients will go to the assessment center and if they qualify, rather than getting that deep nasal swab that they find so uncomfortable, they may be able to provide just some saliva into a uh, specimen container. But they have to understand that that sample then is sent to the laboratory where it then gets the same test as the swab would have gotten. Okay, and Dr. Mazzulli, who would qualify? So at the moment, the criteria is somewhat limited. It's generally children under the age of 16 uh, because they're the ones most averse to getting a nasal swab. There may be uh, some adults similarly that have an aversion or fear of getting that swab, but also the category of people who may have some obstruction or blockage to their uh, nasal passage where they can't pass the swab or they have a bleeding disorder, that type of thing. Okay, and then who would make that decision on whether or not they would qualify? Would it be at the site or would you have to speak to someone in advance? So it would be at the site. The, the person doing the assessment would see whether you're qualified. And if so, they would offer it to you and provide you with the specimen container instructions uh, on how to collect it. Okay. Uh, and as you mentioned, it still needs to be sent to the labs. And so when it comes to the assessment itself, the turnaround time, I assume, would be fairly similar to what the nasal swab would be. That's correct. So it still takes about four and a half, five hours to complete the testing once it arrives in the lab. Dr. Marzulli, do you, I mean, this sounds like a, a more palatable option here. Do you think that this could be expanded into other assessment centers or perhaps into these pharmacies as we see this roll out? So I think uh, that that is the plan for the province going forward. Uh, so we started out as the initial sort of test site, uh, so to speak. But uh, if the system works, both the indications for providing saliva as well as the centers that will be able to test it will increase. Okay. Dr. Mazzulli, I want to get your take on how testing has been going thus far. Obviously, we've seen the numbers increase significantly and then, in turn, the case count climbing. How do you think the process is, is going? So it's, um, it's been a, a bit of a struggle more recently, probably in the past couple of weeks. We've seen the number of requests go up significantly across the entire province. Um, some labs are having uh, substantial backlogs. Uh, so some of the data you're seeing are, you know, a day or two behind because there's so many samples uh, that are coming in now. I think the other day there was over 60,000 when the capacity for testing is somewhere in the range of 40 to 45,000. Wow. So, Doctor, uh, we've run out of time, but if, if you would leave a message with any of our viewers who are looking to get tested, who need to get tested, what will you say to them? I, I think you should probably um, come only if you truly have symptoms or if you've been contacted by public health or you've had contact with someone you know has COVID. I think getting tested just for the sake of seeing what do you have it or not and you're completely healthy uh, with no risk, I would say stay away from the uh, testing centers for now. Okay, Dr. Mazzulli with Sinai, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. All right, 739, that's what we're sitting at right now. Frankie, let's